action. Action. All right, what's going on? So this is vlog number two. If you haven't watched number one, go back and watch number one. So today we're over at Salvum. We just stopped for Diet Coke. It's pretty warm in it today. Chris is behind the camera. Me and Chris are out in Salvum, handing out leaflets and free passes. And then we are also putting up posters. But the coolest thing is, so far, most people have known who we are. Most people, well, we've met a lot of members. Most people know who we are, or they've seen the video we've made in the past. Or one of those, good work. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for everything you've done so far. Because so far in South, we've had such a good response. It's been amazing. And we do this today, really, isn't it? It's the main thing we do is so we can meet people. Because I think a lot of people, I said on my story earlier, that we have always got goals and we always have. Like for me, I always have a vision board, but for fitness work, we always have goals. So our goal today was to come out and to speak to 50 people and hand out at least 50 leaflets. Well, not hand out 50 leaflets, but speak to 50 people, wasn't it really? Yeah. So if I would smash that, we're over probably what, 60 now, 70? It's just to come and meet people and, because a lot of them were apprehensive about joining. A lot of them were a bit skeptical about what to expect, classes, the opening hours, everything. But now we've spoken to most of them, we will probably see a big influx of join us tomorrow. So that is why it's important to come and show your face and meet the community and just walk and just chat. There is gonna be a lot of rejections. We have been said, no, we don't wanna leaflet or we don't wanna to speak to you or you can't put it up here, but that's fine because we've probably had more yeses than we have no's. So this is kind of round two of the day. So round one was walk in every single shop in South and High Street. Granted, there's not many because South isn't particularly big, is it? No. Maybe not. 50 ish shops, if that. We spoke to, the goal was to speak to 50 people. We probably spoke to about 100, 120. Yeah. Handed out all the leaflets, put posters in most stores. And yeah, that was it really. That was our outreach for this morning. Most people know who we were though, because we, we did a video and it went to like seven, I think, 7.5 thousand. So that was quite useful. We went to all the Southern people. We're in every Southern group. So this kind of vlogs more about outreach and how we're gonna get Fitness Works busy. Chris already launched the pre-launch on Thursday and signed up. We tricked them, because they thought we were launching yeah. on Monday. They thought, they thought it was gonna be Monday. And we tricked them, we tricked Thursday. Them, and, then it was Thursday. and they went mad. And they went crazy, because everyone was like, oh shit, it's gonna sell out by Monday, which it did. So we put it in Thursday, because we just had a sneaky suspicion it would work better. Um, so we put it on Thursday and Friday. We did one early bird of 35 pounds, plus t-shirts, plus early entry, plus a little VIP party, as you want to call it, before we open. And then on the Friday, we sold, sell, that sold out within what, five hours? Three hours. Three hours, then yeah. three hours. And then on the Friday, we did a 40 pounds, plus a t-shirt, plus early entry. That sold out within maybe five hours. Yeah. So that means we signed 80 members before we even opened, which is ideal. And then we're aiming for, our aim was for the next five weeks to only sign 100. Like an outreach of the day is to go and teach a netball team, so 15 to 20 netballers, fitness. And this is all for free, it's just to meet people, network, and become part of the community again. So while I'm setting up, Chris is probably gonna do what he does in sell and chat, and I'm gonna set up and do my fitness. But we'll get some clips of it and show you what we're doing. It's been a long day though, we started at 6 a.m. 4 a.m. for me. About 4 a.m., yeah, he started at fucking, he starts at 4 a.m., does his fitness at 4 a.m. I did, started at 6 for a client, then did my gym training, my my lifting. Then we went over to set up and did all that, then I've trained again now, Chris has been doing his paperwork. And then we're on the way to do this, so they yeah, are long ass days. <laughs> Yeah, it's all circuits. You can kind of work at your own pace. You'll be fine. What are we doing? Teaching these lot. These lot think I'm going to kill them, though. We're not going to kill them. You all jump into the gym before that. What is that? One. One. So tell me what you're going to be doing with them. I'm going to read it all out in a minute. So when I get my notepad, I'll read it all out. Okay. And tell you one by one. Yeah. 
red screen on the button. It's recording. Yeah. yeah. Right, so my name is Gaz's job today is to knock this down. This is going to be our spin studio. So this is, but when I show you around, this is going to be the spin studio and class studio. That's what me and Gaz are going to do. Smash this wall down, open it all up, and then tidy up. But I'm going to end today's here because we did a lot yesterday. Me and Gaz have got a lot of work too. So I'll see you next time. Peace.